that. You gotta wait until the end, woman. All right. Um, what we need to do for this problem is they're asking us to solve for x. So um, first thing we always look at whenever we're solving equations is we always want to make sure we have our equations simplified. Now I've told you over and over and over again to we want to undo our operations as far as adding and subtracting to our variable. But our problem right now is we have a 5 that's added to our variable, but that 5 is being divided by a 6. So if we were to subtract, a, we can't just subtract a 5 because that's actually a 5 divided by 6. So the first thing we're going to want to do is simplify our equations. And to simplify them, we're going to want to get rid of our denominator. So the way to get rid of our denominator is to multiply by that denominator or multiply, like we say, by your reciprocal. So it's 1 over 6, you multiply by 6 over 1 on both sides. Now, what that tells us to do is now I can say that 6 divided by 6 is going to give us 1, or a lot of times we just like to say that it kind of cancels out. Uh, 6 over 1 over negative 1, I can put this over 1, so I know that to multiply a fraction, I get negative 6. Negative, or 6 times negative 1 is a negative 6. Over 1, we just write as negative 6, equals 5 plus x. Now, I have my variable on the right side, and it's being added by 5. So to undo addition by 5, I need to subtract 5. Or another way to look at this is, this is a positive 5 on the same side of x. So I want to get rid of this positive 5, so I'm going to have to subtract 5. Negative 6 minus 5 is a negative 11 equals x. And then we always like to write our variable x equals a negative 11. So that is how you solve an equation when you have everything is being divided by um, a uh, number. Now we get there.